Then one slap this whip reverse What's all the gas we pull up and burst Bow. These GTCs don't mileage Really can't afford to crash and burn Skirt. Tell a bend down and black your back Feel free free that's all that tap <laughs> Please you jumpy, your trust me. YouTube, oh my god, guys. Ah, how long has it been? Oh my god, I swear, I don't remember the last time I picked up this camera to vlog. It's been so long. I feel like ever since I've been back from um, Lagos in London, I've been so low key. Like, I've just been minding my business, I've just been sitting down, just editing the videos that I had, and just been meditating, and I've just been taking life. On a calm thing obviously guys you know that this vlog is one of those vlogs where something crazy is happening every time i start this vlog in my customized living room that you guys have probably not seen as much because i've not showed it off it's my little studio room you guys know i'm here to tell you guys something big so this is the vlog of all vlogs <coughs> where I am exiting the United Kingdom. Woo! Yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. So, um, yeah, so I don't know how to, how to really talk about this. I don't even know where to start. You know, normally when people are like doing travel vlogs, they start with them packing the suitcase and da da da. I really don't know where to start. This is like the end chapter of London for me. Like, I'm genuinely, honestly moving to America. Like, what the fuck? Like, I'm barely even British. <laughs> like, I, I barely even got accepted into the British fucking... Do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, all right, so, this is what it is, yeah. Obviously, you guys know that I wasn't born in this country. I was born in Nigeria. Came, lived most of my life in the UK. And schooled here, secondary school, primary school, uni, met all my friends. I think ever since it got to the point where a lot of my friends that I was filming content with and growing to this next stage of my life, well, the current stage of my life when I was growing into it, a lot of us just aren't on the same page anymore. A lot of people are like growing up and just making moves. Like one of my boy has two kids, obviously shout out to him. Um, Jenna's moved to America. Um, you know, I made great friends like Meso in Lagos who I see, you know, here and there. And um, I've got some friends that don't create content anymore, like NK. And everyone's just so serious. Everyone's just on their real life life, if that makes sense. Like, everyone's just on their real life business. And I don't know. I just feel like, for me, I've just been that one guy that's never really been, like, so serious. Like, obviously, I've been serious about my life. I've always been building business and so on and so forth. But I've not made any special move that has benefited my life completely. Hence why I'm doing this. Obviously, a lot of you guys are gonna say like, ah, oh, you're probably just going to link Jed or you're probably going cause Jed went. So, I've had this in my mind since, um, since the first time I went to America to visit. After, before that, I was like, oh, I think I want to move to America. The moment they gave me visa, I was like, yeah, I want to move to America. And then when I, when I first went there and I visited all the states, I went to New York, Houston, I went to DC and I went to Atlanta. I really liked Houston. I said, oh my God, like I can see myself living here. I met so many people that knew me. It just felt like something that I had to do. So, but I, I didn't really take it serious when I said it at the time. Until I came back, I went to Lagos for a bit. Then I came back and I went to Atlanta again. Um, to No, so I came back again. Then I went back to Houston again. I think that's the time I just went on a chill thing. And that's when I met Sabs um, for the first time. And I was like, well, I can really get used to this. Like, and then I came back again and I went to Atlanta to meet Sabs again. And I was like, okay, I'm getting a bit used to this whole American shebang. Like, I might as well just stay here. And at that point, that's already completely moved. And I just feel like I want to start my next chapter of my life in America. Like, fuck it. Take that risk. My mom took the risk to come to this country. And look, she made me into this successful British boy, somewhat Nigerian as well. Well, somewhat British, Nigerian boy. And I just feel like maybe my next stage is to begin some a crazy venture in America. Like, and if it doesn't work, God forbid, get your ass back to the UK. I have a house in Nigeria. I can also just go there. Like, there's nothing really forcing me to be here. So yeah, a lot has changed in this UK. Um, no bad blood. I'm not, I'm not here to say the UK is... Um, toxic or anything like that. I just feel like I want to go to America, vlog, start a new life, 
and just experience it, test it out. It might be really expensive at the start, but I aim to make a lot of money there and I, I aim to increase, improve my vlogs as a whole to, get, to show you guys that I'm not gonna take advantage of this move. I just sold my car. I also bought a car in America. I was gonna show you guys, oh my God, I'm so excited, but no, I'm gonna keep that for a separate vlog. I don't know if you guys know the car that I have here, but I tried to get the exact same car, but it's not really that popular in um, the UK, in America. So I had to get a completely different car. So I bought a car in America. I've got an apartment already, two bedroom apartments. You guys already know where it is. Um, it's got a pool, it's got a gym, Woo! It's got everything, like I don't even ever have to leave. But yeah, it's really, really sad. My flight is tomorrow. Today is um, Sunday. My flight is tomorrow at 3 p.m. I've got a, um, a British Airways flight direct to Houston. I, sp I promise you, I've not even started packing a single thing. Like, everything is still here. If I go upstairs quickly, let me show you guys. <sighs> like, I have not even packed anything. Like, my room is still how my room is. All my clothes. Are still here everything is still i'm not look shoes are there everything is still here so maybe i'm anxious <laughs> but i just don't have that strength to like start the packing like hey i just feel like am i gonna take the right things do i need to take everything obviously my bedroom in london and my um studio is still gonna be here for me so i can always come back you know but yeah so the plan for now guys is for obviously i don't have my full residency like i can't stay in america full time yet i only have a visa which means i can only stay there every three months and come back and then go back again i don't know if that's even legal for me to do i'm just taking a mad risk like honestly but i am working on getting a proper green card um based on the fact that i create content i've heard about something like an o1b1 i don't know if anyone knows anything that might make it even easier or quicker for me to get a proper stay visa in america if anyone can help me literally dm me let me know in the comment section if there's a quicker and easier way i would definitely love that um but yeah i've got an apartment i even have dollars like what so anyways let me stop flexing yeah so i already got some dollars as well um got a couple thousand here i'm upset that i'm leaving this bed i don't know if you guys have ever i don't think i've ever showed you guys this bed let me show you guys quickly watch this You get the point anyways. This bed cost me a lot. Um, and I thought I was going to stay in this house permanently well, for a very long time. So I bought a very expensive bed. It's got a surround sound speaker and a TV, I guess. But I think my mom's going to take this room when I'm gone because this bed deserves to be slept on. The mattress is amazing. But yeah, it's, it's crazy to think about this. Like I can't really explain how I feel. The packing is going to start later tonight. I just thought, let me pick up the camera for now. And give you guys a nice little intro to let you guys know that I am moving to Americano. I also need a cameraman in Houston. So if you guys know anybody that wants to, or if you know anyone, or if you are watching and you're from Houston and you like to help me like film my vlogs and whatever, please let me know. I would really, really like that. I will pay as well. Obviously not a crazy price, but you will be fed and you'll be loved. <laughs> So, um, I don't know where to start with this whole packing stuff. Um, the, the difference this time is that I need to, like, take things from this room. Like, I'm not just packing clothes like I'm going to Nigeria. Does that make sense? Like, I'm packing as if I'm going to a whole different country. So, I don't even know where to even bloody start from. I don't like to do all that time lapse stops, but, I mean, I'm going to listen to I'm a piano and talking to you guys throughout. So, cue the time lapse. <laughs> I need this. I don't know if you guys know what this is. So this was when I went on that TV show in um, like after doing summer, like May time. I, I was a part of the finalist. It was called Rise and Fall on Channel 4. So if you guys don't know this, I was on a TV show called Rise and Fall. This was the first ever card Sabs got me. It was a birthday card. And she hates it when I read it, but I'm going to read it, shall I? It says, <clears throat> Happy birthday, Moses. I wish I could be there to celebrate with you, but here's a little something since I can't. I'm grateful God brought us together and you are truly one of a kind. I hope this is your best year yet. Can't wait to see you on Sunday. That was before I saw her for the first time ever. So she's been soft before she even started dating me. Look at this silly girl. If you guys didn't know, we dealt with South Africa. Today is the final actually. So today is the Sunday of the final. By the time the video comes out, we would have won the game. I think, the score is going to be 2-1. 
Nigeria 2, Ivory Coast 1. That's what I think. South Africa, we gave you beatings. I bring close, you wanted to. Yeah. To somewhat finish packing, I'm just doubting myself a bit because I really have a lot of space left, like in one of my suitcase. So I'm just thinking, like, what am I missing? So this is what I'm gonna wear in tomorrow to the airport. I left a lot of things behind. It's almost like I didn't even pack at all. Like, there's still a lot of things here, as you can see. <laughs> it's literally like I didn't pack. Probably will be back for some more of these things later on, but. As you can see, like, I'm starting to doubt myself, but I don't want to overdo before I get to the airport and they're like, oh yeah, it's too packed and so on and so forth. So I think I'm gonna just leave it like this for now. And just, if anything else comes to me, then I think I'll just pick it up on the way. But for now, everything is, is Ready. I need to cancel this gym membership as well before they start charging me every month. A few moments later. The Nigerian game has currently started. Um, I forgot to update you guys. I'm fully packed now. I'm on the phone to Sabs, but I'm watching this Nigerian game and it's currently 1-1. I don't know if you guys remember my um, prediction of it being 2-1. It has to be 2-1 at this point. I was just chatting shit before, let me not lie, but now it, has, it actually has to be 2-1. If Nigeria loses this game, ah, they're gonna deal with us online. They can't even lose. Ah, Nigeria's letting me down. It is currently 2 1. God, I was correct about the 2 1. Guys, I just want to say when I said the score was gonna be 2 1, I didn't mention world country. Did I mention world country? If I did, I was, I was, eh? Hold on. If I was, I, yeah, it's about to be 3 1. Jesus. Hey! Please, please. The game is definitely done. This is literally the last kick in the game. Game's done. Yeah. Hey, God! Lucky, sorry to scare you. We lost, though. Hey! 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 We're fucked online. We're so fucked. Let me go start doing Ivorian dance. Let me go start learning Ivorian people's dance. I have to start being Ivorian. Hey, what fucked? Jesus, you see what we did to South Africans? Hey, they're gonna finish us. Oh, what fucked? Oh my God, the internet. Let me just turn my phone off for two months. Lucky, you're looking at me like I'm mad. We just lost. We just lost. Yeah, you're not even, you're not even black. <laughs> He doesn't even give a shit. As long as it's not England playing. <laughs> ah, lucky. It's because you're white. So that's why you're just chilling. We just lost. Hey, God. 2 1 Ivory Coast. Good morning, guys. Welcome to another day. Um, I have fully packed everything, dressed, ready for the airport. Um, just received two letters on my name. Before I fucking leave this country, the first one is from Southern Water. I don't pay water bills, so I don't know why it says my name. Let's just check, yeah. Um, congestion charge. When you drive in London, you have to pay to drive in London. But I think, if I'm correct, I've already dealt with this. Because I got one letter already, so let me just double check. Uh, let me pack my essentials in my little bag. So, my wallet, definitely coming. Um, racks, gotta come. My passport, you know the ones when you have your passport, so you, you double check, even though it's in your hand, you double check to make sure it's in your hand. Like you look again, okay, this is my passport. It hasn't expired yet, okay, all right. Uh, uh, hey! Lucky is coming to the airport with us. Obviously, 
my last goodbye to Lucky is going to be at the airport. <laughs> she definitely has no clue what's going on. Now. I mean, she, she can send something, but. Lucky knows when the bags have been packed. Yeah, she knows something's going on. Um, quick note the things that I left behind are not up for grabs. <laughs> Emphasis on they're not up for grabs because I know I'll come back. I'm coming back for all of them. Everything <laughs> from, like, the, from the shoe to the hoodie to the. No. Oh, okay, your hoodie's in that. Oh, wow, that is. Oh. Those are the ones I'm talking about. You have to do it. Yeah, that's fine. So please, mama as well. I'm gonna tell her. How much should I do? How much should I do? Huh? I can't hear you. Did you say twenty? Twenty. Okay. People are more worried about the fact that Nigeria won and the fact that Ivory Coast. I mean, Nigeria lost and the fact that Nigeria actually won. Like, yeah. How can I go to the whole pub here and no one says to support Africa? No one cares about Africa. Like, <laughs> everyone that's, the thing that's, that's trending on Twitter is not Africa winning. It's Nigeria, it's Nigeria losing. losing. Like, ah. <laughs> oh, like, we're oh. actually on their necks no matter what. Like, it's crazy. But if you go to like, like France, all this way, they would just. Like, yeah, like, yeah, it's true. They are having much fun. Like. Oh, just got to the airport. Terminal 5 Heathrow. Like, I'm excited because I know. I didn't think you have a place to come back to. So you're good. Yeah. But I'm not having that in my mind. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna go well. It's gonna go well. It's definitely gonna go well. Ugh. This is LDM. Okay. What the hell? Lucky. You ever been to the airport before? <laughs> it's your first time at the airport. Okay, well. Thank you very much. I'll see you. Lucky. Come here. Come here. Lucky. <laughs> Lucky. Come here. Come, come, come here. Come here. See you um, soon. She just, I don't know why she's coming to you. <laughs> but anyway, it's cool. Thank you. I'll see you soon. Nah, that's cool. Oh, man. Gets emotional from here. All right, guys. Let me leave you guys for a second whilst I sort out my bags. I just got a lot of bags. I always panic every time I have a flight, even though I have everything booked. I always feel like, oh, am I going to be late to the check-in? Are they going to randomly cancel the flight? Like, something can literally go wrong. This is not like a perfection of a nature that we live in. Like, anything can happen. The pilots can decide not to come. I don't know, but I just want to get to my destination. I, I would hate to go back to my house right now. I don't want that to even happen. So, fingers crossed. So, one of my bags got held. Not sure why, pretty sure there's no liquid in there, but um, wait and see what I've got to say about it. So guys, I just came out of security. When I tell you they put me through hell and back, oh my God, like, I don't want to explain it, but long story short, my bag, one of my bags, this green one here, to my hand luggage, I used it as a bag to put like all of my electricals, like my wires, my controllers, my PlayStation, one of my PlayStation, in fact, my PlayStation was even in there. Uh, my cameras, gimbal, literally everything was there. What did I tell you? They made me strip everything and I had to pack it all up again. The longest thing ever, but we made it, Sha. About to go find where my gate is. It's too tired already. Like, the day just started. I do that, I Checked in guys, sat down, got my seat, business class. This is a bit different to the business class that I got when I went to Vegas. I think it's just the way my seat is, cause it's like pointing towards the outside. So I don't have like the cover like how this one does, but you know, one thing I do know is that I'm still gonna be able to sleep properly. Like the chair's gonna recline all the way back. I'm still gonna get business class food. And I'm excited, it's gonna be a very long flight, it's a 10 hour flight, so I actually need this. So. I've got Starbucks with me. Um, 
ham and cheese basic but i need to eat something for now because i'm very very hungry and it's like 2 p.m already so wish me a safe flight i'm probably only going to show you guys the food that i get i don't think i'm going to like talk to you guys a lot because last time it was very very loud but wish me a safe flight in the comment section even though by the time i land i would have already like <laughs> The video will come out after I land, but still wish me a safe flight in the comment section if you guys follow me. Um, yeah, I'm getting to Houston very, very soon. I'm so excited. Yeah, let me eat, sleep, and I'll speak to you guys when I get to Houston. I just started deep in it, yeah. Yes, last night, Sabs was telling me to not sleep, like, properly. So then, like, when I get on the flight, I will have, like, I was so tired that I really want to sleep. But I didn't listen to that advice. And now I'm so awake, like, the only thing that can really put me to sleep if, it's, if I drink champagne, which I don't do anymore, like I don't drink some more, so it's a bit pointless for me to do that. So I'm just thinking, what is going to get me tired? I didn't even download any movies because there was just too much going on. I didn't have time to download nothing. Like, I'm trying to download some movies now, but the signal is so bad on the plane, so I'm just doing it like last minute. Look, I'm literally on my legs, like, it's not trying to download properly. Oh. Um, so I'm just charging my, my headphones, so by the time... Um, we take off at least for a bit. I can listen to music, then I'm gonna use the Wi Fi on the plane, which I have to buy. Ugh, then I'm gonna try to download the rest of this because the only way I'm gonna fall asleep is if I watch something and I get tired. But at this point, I slept well last night. I woke up on time, I had time to walk lucky. I even had a little nap after I woke up. Like, cash money on Miami Joe, I just got out of the plane. Um, I really gotta say it was a really you know calm, chilled flight. I didn't really sleep like that, like I said before. Um, I slept a lot last night, so I barely slept. I feel like everybody's rushing to the what's it called? <laughs> to the passport control. I don't know why. I'm chilled. Obviously, I got Dice waiting for me. He came to pick me up. So I'm just relaxed, like I feel good, I'm not tired, so I'm not like pressured to sleep isn't it? as soon as I get to the apartment also i've not even mentioned this to you guys i got an apartment by the way i maybe i did but i have no furnitures <laughs> i'm literally hoping that the password control is quick get my bags check into my apartment i think for the next two to three days i might just book an apartment or like a hotel to stay for now i don't think i'm ready to stay in that empty house it's gonna be a bit weird i'm not gonna lie but no, i'll show you guys when i get there i'll show you the apartments and everything um, so yeah, stay tuned, but it's going to be very, very weird. At least you have no furniture, one bed that needs, to be, that needs to be put together. Plus, I don't even have a mattress. It's 8 o'clock right now. I doubt there's going to be anywhere. <sighs> I'm out of breath, sorry. I doubt there's going to be anywhere that's going to allow me to get a mattress at this time. So, just wish me luck, guys. Honestly, it's very, very... Everything that I'm doing just feels rushed, but... No matter when I do it, it's always going to feel the same. So, I don't even know how to get out of here. Is it this way? Global Trusted Traveler. I'm so baffled. Okay, all passengers go this way. Oh, I guess I'm not a Global Trusted Traveler network. Oh my God, when I tell you guys, pushing these bags, worst thing ever. Like, I'm in Houston now, I've got the airport. Probably waiting for dice. I don't know what it is about this airport. It doesn't seem like it's just given New York vibe. Like maybe it's because of the construction, it just looks a bit rough. Um, it's 8 p.m. here, but it's really dark. Once again, giving UK vibe, which I don't really understand. Um, I just came out. The, I just came out the phone with dice. He told me he's like three minutes away because he couldn't park like exactly at the airport, so he has to like park somewhere else. So he should be here in the next minute or so. I don't know how we're all gonna put this bags together a way to get because it's, it's, it's too much like oh god <sighs> i'm really really stressing i don't really know how i'm gonna like figure myself out when i get to the apartments <sighs> honestly i don't even want to think about it right now i'm too stressed to even speak like please <laughs> which side is it <laughs> my triggy 
Oh, what's this music? But first of all, this oh my god, just, just get inside the car. My triggy, he's yeah, like, I'm chilling, this nigga's bro. looking slim. What the bro, fuck? I'm going gym, man. No, this is not gym work. You're not supposed to be looking slim. You're supposed to be looking swole. I told you, I've been going gym so I can work on myself. The trying hell? to get myself better, trying to better myself. You know, oh my god, that, that, that shit, you know what I'm saying? How's the flight though? Smooth, but that, that was a long flight, man. I mean, you're in business class, it's not, you're not meant to feel it. Nah, I felt it because I was awake the whole time, man. You, you haven't slept for the whole last nine hours. No, I thought you told me you don't wear tracks in this country anymore. I don't, it's only when I help people move in. Don't you wearing the full that, UK that, that, tracks? That, that's, that's the only reason why, it's when, I'm, when I'm helping people move in, that's the only time, literally. Oh my literally. god, literally. Do you know what? I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself because no furniture in the apartment. Wait, no you, car. Isn't there a bed? Frame? Yeah, but no mattress. Uh, would it would, would um somewhere to deliver one right no, now? No, I have to go to I have to go to Walmart. Yeah. That's okay. where I have to get a mattress from. Probably. Hi. What's good? What's good? Touchdown in another in another country. I was saying to Jed that I don't know what I'm gonna do in terms of like mattress because it's late here already. I think you should get a hotel tonight. Oh my god. And then get everything tomorrow. Get a mattress tomorrow. Yeah, I'm not, I don't have the energy to even like put the bed together tonight, if uh -huh. I'm being honest. Okay. As your, as your auntie and uncle back? Yeah. Oh man. Came back yesterday. I would slept in their bed. <laughs> in their bed? <laughs> in their bed is crazy. I'll check, I'll check Walmart. <laughs> I, thought, I mean, I thought we could, I mean, we could, because you don't, you don't want to put it together tonight. We can, but I still need a mattress. We can go Walmart and check. Yeah, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to get those ones that you, they wrap up. Cause yeah. even at the at the airport, they they um, confiscated my electric screw. I didn't hang up. I think the Your electric screwdriver. Yeah, I had a I had an electric screw. It wasn't it wasn't like a big electric. What the screw. hell? Who are, what are, who are you screwing? No, it wasn't a big electric screw. You just need to unscrew your face. Like why are you actually just screwing? It was like a small one, but it was like electric. Oh, I don't know why they took that off me because I have the, the drills for it. Like I have the screws for it. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say definitely need to get some some screwdriver stuff as well. They were asking me, oh, why am I staying for this long? So I went to my girlfriend. Uh, does the girlfriend live here? I said, yes. What does the girlfriend do? There's something with NFL. So what do you do? I said, I think I also do something with NFL. <laughs> I was so confused, yeah. The questions were so much. I was like, I think I also do something with NFL. I was just lost. I was like, obviously I have money to, <laughs> to survive. I was like, all right, cool. That's the main important thing. Right. That was smooth, man. If you go to the UK, you wait 5,000 years before you even enter. Even the, it's even the upper. Um, I believe the UK was quick. What border, border checking that you have to do as well, that Oh, in America? Yeah. What, what, what border checking? You know how you have to do like a separate border checking straight after? No, 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 no. no. It, was, it, was one, it was literally one check and that was it. The guys are asking me questions. They didn't even stop my passport. They didn't even stop my passport. Just so ask me questions. Am I, mean, I even in the country? I mean, I mean, if you made it through the border in England, you know, England is probably more tough. Than yeah, yeah, England you. is the worst. So once you make it through to England, then it's just about getting there. With all the drugs I have in my bag, that's crazy. So, guys, um, just realized, like I said earlier, I don't have a mattress. So, me and Daz just came to Walmart to grab a mattress. Well, look, look, this is the same thing you were looking for before. Yeah, I did the same shit. Well, you know. It's a cool, it's a cool car. But then I just feel like it looks naked though. I'm the kind of person that I like if you're gonna order that, it has to be on a twelve on a on a on a twenty-four thing. Oh, uh, you wasn't looking at twenty-four before. Get uh, the fuck okay. out of here. It was a twenty-four <laughs> thing. You know it was a twenty-four thing. I was a uh, twenty-four thing. I I've never heard a place like Walmart selling mattress. But you know what? They saw they they fixed my tire the other day. What? Huh? Yes, bro. Walmart. When I, when I had that, remember that the tire, fuck? that tire thing. I told you. You took it to Walmart. I took it to Walmart. That's and they crazy. Fixed it. They even opened later than all the rest of them as well. Because yeah. Yeah, I was because yeah. Yeah, I was because this. Yeah. So excuse me. Mm -hmm. Do you guys sell mattresses here? Mattress? Yeah. Yes, we do. It's over on the other side. I'll show you. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you. I just thought it was a joke. I told you. You can actually get a mattress from here. I told you. Hey, don't play. You think you can buy a car from here? No, 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 but they're definitely giving you. You can take our credit card or something. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. definitely. Yeah, this is the something. It, it doesn't yeah. like it doesn't feel like anything to me that I'm in America because of how often I've been. Yeah. But like, when I first came, like I was in all all of these things, but this feels like I'm in a second home now. I mean, to be honest, look, 
once you come out here once, twice, by like the third time, you got ups. So literally, like, you're what good, the man. Fuck? Like, What's this guy talking about? Telling you, you're good, man. I know what I want to hear, man. Oh, the matches I need to get needs to be a thick one because I don't have the bed is very low. What price is the matches first of all? Like Guys, look at this. Literally, look at this. Right now, I have no furniture, but I'm bro, looking bro. to get. This guy's just being so stingy, and you see, I hate guys like this here yeah, because the stinginess is. is, is I'm not crazy. being stingy, bro. I'm could, literally deciding which one to get. You could have been, you could have been got this other one that's on the, on the side here. Yeah, that's the one I'm that's looking at. I'm just looking at all the options. Why are you rushing me? Are you, well, you know, there's not that many options, right? I want one of a headboard. Boom. Unless you're gonna go and get Miss Queen herself. <laughs> Reviver from Reviver from that. That Miss Queen. Uh, look at it. It's, and, <coughs> it's, it's $104. It's hundred and eighty six. Headboard is bougie no, for no, your mattress. <laughs> oh, you oh, pay a hundred. Oh, you might as well get, but the tax won't be that much. Hey, bro. So, is this is this one hundred and four dollars? It says right there. It says you pay one hundred one forty, one hundred one dollars. I mean, one hundred and one dollars. So hundred to so basically hundred dollars. Yeah, I mean, if that tag if that tag is on it, that means the price has been reduced. Bet. So, bet. Yeah, you should be good. Appreciate you, gang. Yeah. Moses, you're you're. Um, get it. Shut, shut up. Get it. Why I don't think you should get a, it. Why do you need an air mattress and a oh, headboard shit. for one night? Because uh, at the end of the day, if I'm going to buy a normal one that's cheap, it's like $74. That's even the one with the headboard. But this one is like headboard. The only thing, the only one, other one I can get with that I don't have a headboard is this flat one here. That's $26. And I'm sorry. This thing that's not necessary. That's mean. That's just evil. So guys, I just picked up an air mattress, um, some drinks, some water. Just something to survive with for now because the only thing I like in this country, dead ass, is that Gary. Um, mattress, um, blankets and a pillow. Right now guys, for the first couple of days, I'm going to be on my legs, suffering. But we got a bed already. Oh, do you know what I need? What? They're screwed. No. But we'll get it tomorrow, man. I don't want to have my mind tonight. Oh yeah, because we got the air mattress. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Wait, are we doing the bed tonight? I mean, there's time, isn't it? If we're, if we're not doing it today, then yeah, we'll leave it for now. Yeah, then we'll have to come back for the screw. Why do you want to get donuts to celebrate? Just say you want donuts, just, boy. Just get donuts <laughs> to celebrate. What does, what does that mean? Don't I want to get donuts to celebrate? Bro, most, most people that are in America, when they first come in, they get donuts to celebrate. That's a new one. I've never I'm telling that. you. You're really confused. Oh, I have to insert my card. No. Just play out, try. Baby, baby, try, baby. Oh, baby, try, baby. I remember the fucking story. Baby, baby, try, baby. Ah, move it, try, baby. Move it, try, baby. Yeah. I'm pretty drink. How you feel? Yeah, but just two chicken thighs in that one. Two chicken thighs as well. Yeah. Hold on. Anything else? No, that's it. So guys, we just struggled. Like when I tell you we struggled to bring everything inside. Like I promise you. And this this bag, the wheel broke. So that was another one. One of the bedrooms are there. It's the living room. Don't really want to show you guys too much for now, but yeah, it's official. Um, I've also left the UK. I've joined this guy in the States. <laughs> um, I have no furniture for now. The apartment is completely empty, but I'm happy with it, man. It's really big. I think it's got the kitchen area, two massive bedroom, but the next vlog I'm going to give you guys will be the apartment tour. Um, it will still be empty, obviously. That'll be tomorrow, but for now, I need to eat, blow up my mattress bed, and call it a night. I'm really tired. So guys, the last thing I need to do right now is to blow up this bed and just sleep and begin my adventure from tomorrow. I'm really tired. Dad is not on the, it's in the other room talking to some next girl, as usual. Sub's on the phone watching me do this thing. <sighs> Good morning, guys. Um, I'm just here to conclude the vlog. So last night I slept on a blow up bed in this empty apartment, which I don't really want to show you guys too much for now. Yeah, so 
I'm gonna go buy a mattress today when Das comes and picks me up and I'm gonna reassemble the bed and basically just put everything together to basically start getting the apartment going what I'm gonna do is um, when Das comes to pick me I'm gonna give you guys an empty apartment tour I'll show you guys the pool area the gym area everything that comes in this apartment it's so beautiful um, but I'm gonna conclude the vlog for today I'm gonna try to keep up my daily uploads because this is a country that kind of gives me consistency so I'm gonna try to release a video if not every day every other day for you guys so you're gonna see the full apartment vlog the full tour of the apartment tomorrow so make sure you guys stick around make sure you guys like comment subscribe Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.